Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Bible Study Minute. Today we're taking a look at Matthew chapters 1 and 2. And in these chapters, we receive the narrative of Jesus' birth according to Matthew. And there are a couple of details in these chapters that I wanted to highlight. And first is the genealogy that we're giving that we're given in the beginning of the book, which shows that Jesus Christ is both a son of Abraham and a son of King David, who is in line to properly sit on David's throne. And in this genealogy, we're given a couple of names of some women, such as Tamar, Rahab, Ruth, and the wife of Uriah, which is Bathsheba. And what we see here is that there are some Gentiles in, in Jesus' line. And then we're shown from the genealogy, we are then taken to Joseph, who is Jesus' earthly father. And what we see in Joseph is someone who is righteous and he is someone who allows the Lord to speak to him, and he does exactly what the Lord tells him to do on several instances in this in these couple of chapters. We see him not divorcing Mary. We see him keeping them safe by fleeing down to Egypt and then listening to the Lord and doing everything else that he is told to do. But then another point that really stands out is the wise men. So we know that the wise men come from the east, and... This is important because it takes us back to Babylon and most importantly, Daniel, who was the overseer of all the, the wise men in Babylon um, during that time. And so if you kind of wonder why these wise men knew about this, that would be the reason why, because Daniel taught them the Old Testament scriptures and the prophecies, especially the ones that we see in Daniel, like particularly like chapter nine to where this would be the time for this fulfilled prophecy to take place and why they would journey to come worship the Messiah that they would have learned about through through Daniel. But then the last thing we see here is this time and time again that Matthew is placing an emphasis on how Jesus Christ is the Messiah and how everything that is happening is in fulfillment of Old Testament scripture. So we see him quoting Isaiah, Micah, Hosea, Jeremiah, just showing how the Old Testament prophets spoke to this one particular person and how his life and the circumstances around his life are being fulfilled by what the prophets spoke. So that's what I want you to focus on today, in particular, as you take a look at these passages, is focus on how Jesus is the fulfillment of all the Old Testament prophecies that we have been given and have read through over the, the previous weeks. So that's what I want to leave you with today. And until next time, grace and peace.